Hello, everyone. This webinar is part of the Healthier U.S. School Challenge Smarter Lunchroom Initiative mini webinar series and is brought to you by Action for Healthy Kids. This mini webinar will focus on the Smarter Lunchroom section of the application and how to use the Smarter Lunchroom scorecard. My name is Jocelyn Tony, and I am the Illinois Field Assistant for Action for Healthy Kids. So let's get started. First, I'd like to give you a little background on Action for Healthy Kids. Action for Healthy Kids fights childhood obesity, undernourishment, and physical inactivity by helping schools become healthier places. We are moms, dads, teachers, students, school and community leaders, and school wellness experts who have banded together to create healthier learning environments for our children. We believe that everyone has to play in ending the nation's childhood obesity epidemic. Our programs, tools, and resources make that possible. We were founded in 2002 by former Surgeon General David Satcher. Today we have more than 80,000 members. We also partner with dozens of professional associations, government agencies, and corporations at the national and local level. This presentation is part of the Action for Healthy Kids School, Healthier U.S. School Challenge Smarter Lunchroom Initiative mini webinar series. The Healthier U.S. School Challenge Smarter Lunchrooms Initiative is a great opportunity to help your school receive recognition for and to sustain your health and wellness initiatives. We have developed this series to provide school administrators, teachers, nurses, food service managers, parents, and school wellness advocates with the tools and knowledge you'll need to successfully submit an application. On your screen, you'll see the topics that are covered in the series. They've been divided into nine separate mini webinars, which can be found at our YouTube channel, Action for Healthy Kids. Each mini webinar presentation can be viewed in about 10 to 12 minutes. Today's presentation is focused on the Smarter Lunchroom section of the application. So, the Smarter Lunchroom techniques, as indicated in the name of the initiative, Smarter Lunchroom, is a focus of the Healthier U.S. School Challenge Smarter Lunchrooms Initiative. Smarter Lunchrooms is a USDA-funded research center that works to equip school lunchrooms with evidence-based tools that improve child eating behaviors and thus improve the health of all children. It uses six key principles that are based on research on various environmental cues, physical and social, that influence eating behaviors. Research shows that most of our food decisions are heavily influenced by our environment such as the size of the container we eat from or what everyone else is eating versus our own internal hunger cues. The Research Center works to identify and develop practical evidence-based strategies to shape school environments. Research has shown that lunchrooms can be rearranged to nudge students to make healthier choices. Schools at all reward levels will be required to complete a Smarter Lunchroom self-assessment scorecard available online that contains 100 action items that fall under six areas, fruits, vegetables, entrees, milk, sales of reimbursable meals, and school synergies. So let's move on to the Smarter Lunchroom Self-Assessment Scorecard. This tool can help you to evaluate your lunchroom. Congratulate yourself for things you are doing well and identify areas of opportunity for improvement. This tool contains 100 statements that are smarter lunchroom techniques. This snapshot on the slide shows you what it looks like. It's a two-page document. Applicants will be required to select those statements that they are currently implementing in their school. The number of techniques from the scorecard that are the school must implement is dependent upon the award level. Documentation that the school is meeting this criteria 
I'll include a copy of the completed scorecard and a brief summary with two to three photos describing the school's overall smarter lunchroom efforts. It is suggested that two or three staff members complete the scorecard and then compare answers. However, only one scorecard needs to be sent in with your application. The scorecard can be done multiple times throughout the year to see improvements. It should be noted that this scorecard is a tool that the USDA has described to use. The Smarter Lunchrooms movement has their own criteria and standards, but those who are applying for the Healthier U.S. School Challenge Smarter Lunchrooms must meet the following criteria. Bronze applicants must meet at least 30 action items. Silver and gold applicants must select 50 action items. And then gold award distinction applicants must select 70 action items. Let's talk through some tips for getting the Smarter Lunchroom scorecard started. First, it is suggested that you arrive to the cafeteria about 10 to 15 minutes before service. It is best to take between 20 and 30 photos by following the photo checklist so you have something to re like reference when you are done observing. Within that 10 to 15 minutes, you can speak with the kitchen manager to get a feel for the space and how lunch is typically served. You can observe at least one lunch period before starting the scorecard to ensure that you are taking in all that is happening in the cafeteria. Now that you are prepared by observing one lunch, you can begin to mark the items on your scorecard that you are seeing at that time. You can then circle that boxes that are not pre present or may want to work on in the future. It is suggested that you speak with servers or cafeteria monitors to answer some of the questions that are listed on the scorecard. This process is done when two or three people observe the cafeteria at different times and compare scorecards. Note that only one scorecard must be completed and turned in with your HEFIC application. Smarter Lunchroom's movement has been seen, has been seeing improvements in cafeterias due to this scorecard, including, for example, moving and highlighting fruit increased sales of fruit by up to 102%, naming vegetables and displaying the new names with the foods increased selection of vegetables from between 40% to 70%, or placing white milk first in a lunchroom's cooler has resulted in an increase of up to 46% in white milk sales, or the first of highlighted entrees on the lunch line has an 11% advantage over the second option. And lastly, the number of students consuming healthy items increased by 35% after the introduction of a healthy choices only convenience line. Let's look at the application regarding the Smarter Lunchrooms component. It is located in the general criteria worksheet of the application. If you're just getting started with the application, the Smarter Lunchroom scorecard can be an easy place to start. At this point in the application, you would download and complete the scorecard. The top red box provides the link for the scorecard. This is a reminder to arrive to the lunchroom 10 to 15 minutes before the lunch period and to take pictures. It is important to have at least two people complete the scorecard and compare answers. Once you have compared answers, count the number of smarter lunchroom efforts to indicate the level of certification your school should apply for. Then attach the scorecard and provide a brief summary and two to three photos describing the school's overall smarter lunchrooms efforts. Once this is completed, you are able to check the box yes. After reviewing the application and your district or school's wellness policy, does your school show any gaps? If so, check out Action Frothy Kids Game On program. Game On is a free online program that provides best practices and resources you need to create a strong school wellness program with the ultimate goal of becoming certified as a healthy school. 
Game on includes more than 45 Eat Better and Move More challenges that help your students, staff, and families eat healthy and be physically active. A few example challenges are listed on your screen. Game on is an easy to use and free to register. And here's a great way to learn more about Actions for Healthy Kids and how you can get involved with our mission and our movement. Take the Every Kid Healthy Pledge and help us create a 100,000 person movement to make all schools healthier places. It takes just 10 seconds. Once you've signed on, we'll show you ways, big and small, that you can turn your commitment to action. The next part of this mini webinar series focuses on nutrition education. If you're interested, please stop by our YouTube channel, Action for Healthy Kids. Thanks so much for your time today and good luck with completing the rest of your HUSIC SL application.